Do you remember LeBron James's comments at the 2022 NBA All-Star Weekend in Cleveland? The one where he says, my last year will be played with my son. Wherever Bronny is at, that's where I'll be. I would do whatever it takes to play with my son for one year. It's not about the money at that point. We bet you do. It was clear after listening to that statement, draft Bronny James, you'll get LeBron. It's a package deal. Despite being a good deal, we still ask ourselves one question. Would this be possible? Stay tuned to find out. Bronny has been under the microscope since he hit the AAU scene the summer before 8th grade. Highlights of his performances and LeBron even joining the layup line during warm-ups covered the internet while Bronny was in middle school. Bronny has taken it well and shown glimpses of being a high major prospect, even with all the pressure. He's currently rated as a four-star player in the 2023 high school class. Rivals.com ranks him 30th in the country, and 24-7 Sports has him as the number 34 player in the class. Bronny is a little undersized as a 6'3 shooting guard and has been inconsistent so far during his high school career. It has been an unorthodox high school career for James to this point. He played in every game for Sierra Canyon as a freshman, but the coronavirus pandemic delayed the start of his sophomore year. Even though games weren't being played at the time, James tore his meniscus in February of his sophomore season, requiring surgery. He sat out during the fall of his junior year to work on strengthening that knee after a summer of AAU tournaments, where he had a breakout game in front of NBA team scouts during Nike's Peach Jam. He finished with 21 points, including six three-pointers, with his dad coaching from the bench. In a head-to-head -head matchup with Imani Bates in the next game, Bronny looked like a completely different player. He posted only eight points and went one for five from three-point range. The inconsistency has been the storyline of his high school career. He averaged 7.2 points, 2.6 rebounds, and 2.5 assists per game while playing in Nike's elite youth basketball league with his grassroots team, Strive for Greatness. Bronny has been a positive surprise, an NBA team scout said after seeing him at Peach Jam. He's shown he's more than a last name. He can make shots and handle the ball. He's very even-keeled for someone who's under the microscope. James hadn't recovered yet when the shortened season tipped off in the spring, but eventually suited up for Sierra Canyon in the postseason. His junior year was his first full season back from injury. Still, playing alongside ESPN top 100 level seniors like number two ranked five star UCLA commit Amari Bailey and four star prospects like USC commit Kajani Wright and Nebraska commit Ramel Lloyd, James wasn't always in the limelight the way you might expect. His junior season has seen spurts of greatness followed by mediocre stat lines. In one of his biggest moments, Bronny rose to the occasion when Sierra Canyon beat his father's alma mater, St. Vincent St. Mary's, at then Staples Center with his dad sitting courtside. Bronny led all players with 19 points and showed more confidence and maturity in his game than in the past. It felt special playing on the same court as he's played, Bronny said. I'm getting a lot of confidence from that, and it was a really special game for me. Afterward, he just said he'd liked everything I was doing with my poise and pace for the game. One week after the game, he was relatively quiet at the Hoop Hall West in Scottsdale, Arizona, where he scored 11 points and grabbed five rebounds. In his most recent game, Bronny finished with four points in a loss to Harvard Westlake during the CIF Southern Section Open semifinal game. The best way to describe Bronny's role on the Sierra Canyon team is that he was a perennial starter and an elite perimeter defender, but played a reserved offensive role as a shooter, secondary scorer, and playmaker. As a 6'3", 17-year-old, James already has good size, and when you consider LeBron is 6'8", it's probably safe to assume he'll grow even more by the time he enters the draft process. He doesn't have the wingspan that his father does, but Bronny already uses his quick feet and strength to his advantage on the defensive end, shutting off opposing drives with ease. Let's look at some of his strengths on the court. Passing, IQ, unselfishness. Plays the right way will be written on every Bronny James scouting report. His identity revolves around collective skills and traits, starting with his unselfish passing and high basketball IQ. Those show up most when he's a facilitator in transition. James enjoys pushing the ball through backpedaling defenses and setting up finishers or shooters for easy looks. He has a feel for manipulating with speed, deceleration, or change of direction to create passing angles. James usually gives the ball up in half court instead of trying to create early in the possession. He plays within the flow of the offense and shows a willingness to move the ball. James doesn't operate with a personal agenda or an urge to shot hunt, which, when paired with his vision, makes him someone who teammates presumably enjoy playing with. He makes quick decisions and the extra pass. He identifies when bigs have an advantageous position in the post and feeds it to them in the right spots. Shooting Potential 
If James reaches 15 plus points in a game, his jumper usually drives the production. He's effective in catch and shoot situations, demonstrating excellent shot preparation with his footwork to create rhythm hopping into jumpers. He squares up and releases quickly, generating convincing eye test results, regardless of what the percentages say this early in his career. In this slam video, Bronny went for 14 points, 8 rebounds, and 6 assists against Notre Dame early in February. James doesn't shoot off the dribble as often, but he does a nice job of gathering and rising with balance when he has room to pull up. Between James's mechanics, fundamentals, and touch, there are enough reasons to buy his shooting development and chances of expanding his shot-making versatility. Defensive IQ, playmaking. James often makes multiple plays in every game, highlighting his defensive instincts and effort. On the ball at the point of attack, he locks in, slides his feet, and guards with admirable intensity. He forces opposing ball handlers to expend extra energy trying to get to their spots. From an NBA scouting perspective, it would be nice if he grew another inch or two to better match up with shooting guards, but he still has a solid frame for his age and the quickness to defend lead guards. Off the ball is where his IQ and athleticism shine. He frequently gets deflections, whether in transition or jumping a passing lane. He keeps his head on a swivel and stays alert, makes rotations, and puts himself in a position to force a turnover away from the play. Those plays occasionally highlight blocks at the rim that he times well and gets up high for. He also has quick hands, especially for defending fast breaks and getting strips without fouling. With some question marks about his scoring, James's defense will need to remain a consistent plus. There is still a lot to be determined regarding the type of player Bronny could be. As you would expect from the son of arguably the greatest player of all time, the skill and IQ are already in place. The next step is fine-tuning those tools and growing his game as his body becomes more developed. Next year, Bronny will be a senior and Sierra Canyon will be his team. He's been a great sidekick to five-star UCLA signee Amari Bailey this season, and it will be interesting to see how he handles the weight of leadership and taking over games. Bronny is a great on-ball defender, pushes the break in transition, is a bouncy guard who gets his hops from his dad, and has solid shooting mechanics. He just needs to put it all together for a complete game. If LeBron is serious about teaming up with his son, the idea that the James family may come as a package out of the 2024 draft could affect Bronny's stock. It seems reasonable to think that playoff teams and contenders will be interested in a 39-year-old LeBron if the cost was picking his kid in the teens or 20s. According to 24-7 Sports National Recruiting Director Eric Bossy, 94.3% of one-and-done first-round picks were five-star prospects in the past five NBA drafts. There is a chance Bronny's four-star rating could change next year, helping his case. Little is known about Bronny's recruitment, but Duke, Ohio State, UCLA, Michigan, Kansas, Tennessee, and Texas have all shown interest. He might not be a one-and-done prospect on paper, but the luring of a package deal with his dad might be enough to get a team to draft him after one year or four years at the college level. Whatever the future holds for LeBron and Bronny, the father-son duo sharing the court at the highest level could be one of the most iconic moments in basketball and something all fans want to see happen. Only time will tell if Bronny lives up to his father's bold prediction.